Hello from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in San Diego. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria here to discuss finally rain incoming to Southern California. Let's take a look at the weather features. And here is a look at satellite imagery. I'm sure your eye is drawn here to the eye of Hurricane Rosa off the Baja California coast. Uh, still a formidable feature, still a hurricane, and it's moving off to the north. Have no fear, though, it's encountering cooler ocean waters all the way here on its track towards northern Baja. And this feature will weaken uh, actually fairly rapidly over the next couple of days. But this does bring rainfall potential to the southwest United States. Here's the National Hurricane Center forecast for Rosa. Again, a weakening trend uh, entering Arizona probably as a tropical depression and then weakening altogether, but appreciable tropical moisture moving into the desert southwest. As far as tropical storm wind field, uh, wind speed probabilities go, you can see very low probabilities for far southeastern portions of our state and into Arizona. Uh, so no wind threat here for our local areas here in Southern California. Main feature we're looking at is the moisture with Rosa. Here's a look at the transport of moisture and you can see the bulk of that moves into Arizona, but we are on the Western periphery. And then towards Wednesday, we're looking at a trough moving in, delivering another round of potential rainfall. So again, here is Rosa and you can see the bulk of the moisture transport into Arizona, but we are on the Western periphery and there's that Pacific storm poised to bring rain to the metropolitan areas looking like Wednesday. So let's get to the details in terms of the weather threats and the impacts. We have two distinct rainfall rounds here for Southern California. One associated with the remnants of Rosa, the moisture. We will be on the western periphery and that could bring uh, mountain and desert showers and thunderstorms, uh, especially to the area on Monday. A brief in the act rain action on Tuesday, and then the Pacific storm system moves in on Wednesday, and that looks to bring rain to the coast. And now I want to highlight, we don't expect widespread heavy rainfall, but localized heavy rainfall is a possibility. And that lends concern to possible debris flows if heavier cells impact our recent burn scars. And if that were to happen, and we have low confidence at this point, it's more likely to occur for the Cranston burn scar on Monday and for the Holy Fire burn scar on Wednesday into Wednesday night associated with that Pacific storm system. We're continually monitoring the weather information. It's very dynamic and the timing has been changing a little bit, but we're trying to hone in on that here. So that's the potential for the burn scars. Uh, it's a localized risk. We don't expect a widespread uh, drenching rainfall. Here's a look at the rainfall forecast. Amounts are gonna be highest in the mountains here with some locations an inch to an inch and a half. Now that's associated with the, rim, the moisture on the western periphery of dissipating Rosa for Monday into Monday night, and that's going to impact also the lower deserts. And then the second round with the Pacific storm system will bring most of the rain to the coast and valleys. And that again will be Wednesday and Wednesday night. And we have increased amounts along the coast, especially for the Orange County uh, locations, could see a half to an inch uh, and about an inch for the Santa Ana Mountains as well and the coastal slopes of the San Bernardino. So we're, we'll have to watch, see if we might even pick up some locally higher amounts with the Pacific storm system. So in summary, we have Rosa moisture to deal with, which could bring mountain showers and thunderstorms, as well as into the uh, deserts, especially the Coachella Valley, with a possibility of some localized flash flooding. And we'll be watching for locally heavy rainfall possibly presenting some debris flow concerns, but that is of low confidence at this point. A break in the action occurs on Tuesday as that Rosa moisture moves off to the east and the Pacific storm is on the way and that looks to arrive sometime Wednesday into Wednesday night, 
and that will deliver that next round of rainfall and this time the coasts and valleys look to get rain so the metropolitan areas here the la san diego greater metropolitan areas likely will see their rainfall arriving on wednesday and probably little to no rain associated with the moisture of rosa so that does it here for the briefing on our much needed rainfall and we just hope we don't get uh, too much too fast, especially over those burn scar locations. And we will keep you updated and keep assessing the latest information and update you on it. And visit our webpage at weather.gov slash San Diego for the latest updates. Have a great one.